Peggy 16. EA Sports UFC features fighters with more fidelity than ever. I found out about the whole process from the developers and some of the fighters. Getting uh, a, tr a true likeness uh, of a UFC fighter starts with the scanning. And I think what's interesting about this time is what we can do is we can capture not only the color, but also the, the very shape, every pore, every wrinkle, um, uh, even the shape of the, the variation in the shape of skulls, the scar tissues that often these fighters have. This time around we have a very complex rig. This is the most complex uh, facial rig I've seen in the sports game so far. I have to move around in, in a room and it was a bunch of cameras and they took a lot of pics going through with my tattoos and my structure, my body structure and uh, you know, the smallest scar. Yeah, it, it was good, cool to see, to, to be a part of it and, and to see how it works. I think it looks like me. I think you can't get it better than that. Every fighter's got, uh, male or female, has unique wrinkles and veins and scars that are particular to the, uh, them. What's really critical is we can't just have the player likeness, the fighter likeness, coming uh, as he comes out of the changing room. He's got to look like he's gone five rounds uh, to the fight of his life. We show this progression through uh, the veins pumping up, the, the redness of the skin that comes up, the sweat, the blood, uh, the, the bruising comes up over the, over the course of the fight. So there's layer upon layer of detail that actually changes dynamically. You can see the sort of slight redness that appears on the edge of the light here, and this is what we call subsurface scattering. It's the way light actually scatters through flesh. Uh, and gives it that appearance of it's not just plastic, it's not just this hard shell material, it's actually something with substance and blood running underneath. And it's not just the way the fighters look that needs to be authentic, it's the way they move as well. We have a procedural awareness system that allows them to actually track each other and emote to what the other uh, fighter's doing. This guy isn't going to do a fixed posture, um, he's going to be reacting to a, another fighter. Um, so we have um, a lot of physics um, led over the top of that, that that allows these animations to change and adjust and naturally uh, give in to what the other fighter's doing. I think it's, it's obviously hugely important to our uh, fans of the UFC, but it goes beyond that. It's going to be um, fans of the sport or even people who haven't, been, uh, haven't seen the UFC before. We want to connect them with another human being going through this ferocious battle in an octagon and really connect them to the emotions of that, to really let them feel the fight. It sounds like you're excited about the fact of being in the game and also on the on the cover as well. It's a huge motivation for me uh, and uh, to push harder. I got to be on beer cam, I got to be in a video game, and I got an action figure. Pretty much done it all. That's the, that's that's, the complete... That's uh, the trifecta. <laughs> that's everything you can want to do. The 17-year-old me would consider 35-year-old me a success.